Hello, my beautiful babies. How's everybody doing today? Happy Taco Tuesday. You all, today has been such a good day. How's your day been so far? It's been so busy. I couldn't wait to share this story with you. Have you ever heard a story about the country mouse and the city mouse? Well, actually, it's called the town mouse and the country mouse. Sorry. It's a fun story, and I really think you're going to enjoy it. Mmm. Have some ginger ale. Ooh, that is so tasty. Are you ready? All right, here we go. It's called the town mouse and the country mouse. Here we go. Once upon a time, there were two little mice. One of them lived in the town and the other one lived in the country. One day, the town mouse went to visit the country mouse. He had never been to the country before, so he was very excited. He packed a small suitcase and went on his way. Country Mouse's home was a small and dark little house, unlike the town mouse's home. Lunch was very different too. There was creamy cheese, juicy apples, and crispy, crunchy hazelnuts. It was all very tasty, but when Town Mouse had finished, he was still hungry. You guys, he can have some of our Cheetos. You know we share at the popcorn kit. After lunch, Country Mouse took Town Mouse for a walk. They went down a sunny path through a creaky gate and into a large field. Town Mouse was just starting to enjoy himself when... Moo! What was that? He asked nervously. Scurrying closer to the Country Mouse, <laughs> That's just a cow, said his friend. There are lots of them in the country. It's nothing to be afraid of. Town Mouse and Country Mouse strolled on through a flowery meadow and over a grassy hill. Soon they came to a peaceful pond. Town Mouse was just starting to enjoy himself when what was that? He asked, again quivering from the noise. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's just a goose, said his friends. There are lots of them here in the country. It's nothing to be afraid of. Town Mouse and Country Mouse continued walking across a rickety bridge, down a sandy track, and into the shady woods. Town Mouse was just starting to enjoy himself when... Toot! Toot! What was that? He yelped and jumped off the ground in terror. That is an owl, cried Country Mouse. Run for your life. If it catches you, it's going to eat you up. So the two mice ran and ran until they found a leafy hedge to hide in. Town Mouse was terrified. I don't like the country at all, he said. 
Come to come and stay with me in the town. You'll see how much better it is. Country Mouse had never been to the town before, so he packed a small rucksack and went to stay with his friend. Do you think there's much of a difference from the country mouse's home and the town mouse's home? Do you think there's a difference? Let's wait and see what happens. You ready? Are you enjoying this story so far? I hope you are. It's a good story. Town Mouse's home was huge and grand. Not at all like Country Mouse's home. Lunch was very different too. Instead of apples and nuts, there were sandwiches and cupcakes and chocolates. Lots and lots of them. It was tasty. But soon, Country Mouse began to feel a little sick. After dinner, the friends went out for a walk. They walked past stores and offices and houses. Country Mouse was just starting to enjoy himself when... Beep! Beep! What is that? He asked fearfully, looking around him. That is just a cat, said his friend. There are lots of them in town. It's nothing to be afraid of. I wonder why it says beep, beep. I've never heard a cat say beep, beep. Have you? Oh, well, let's keep on reading. Then they walk through a park past a church and down a wide road. Country Mouse was just starting to enjoy himself when... No! No! What is that? He asked again and his whiskers started twitching. Oh, that's just a fire engine and there are lots of them in the town. It's nothing to be afraid of. My, oh my. There's so much going on in the country and in the town. As the mice pitter pattered home, they passed a playground, a school, and a pretty yard. Country Mouse was just starting to enjoy himself when... Meow. What's that? That, he squeaked, and his eyes were wide as saucers. It's a cat, cried Town Mouse. Run for your life. If it catches you, it will eat you up. So the mice ran and ran all the way back to town, to the mouse's home. Country Mouse was terrified. I don't like the town at all. I'm going home. He said, but how can you be happy living near those cows, that goose, and that horrible owl, said Town Mouse. They don't scare me, cried Country Mouse. How can you be happy living near fire engines, a terrible hat, cat, and all of these parks? They don't scare me, cried Town Mouse. The two mice looked at each other. Who was right and who was wrong? They would simply never agree. So they shook their hands and went their separate ways. Just walked away. Town Mice, excuse me, Town Mouse to his grand home and country mouse to his cozy home. Home sweet home, said the town mouse, sighing in a deep and happy sigh. Home sweet home, said the country mouse, smiling a big happy smile. And the two of them lived happily ever after, 
each in their own way. The end. What you think about that, my friends? The country mouse was used to where he lived and the town mouse was used to where he lived. And there wasn't a right or wrong. So I don't even know why that was in the story. Maybe that was the point of the story. There is no right and there is no wrong. Where you choose to live is where you choose to live and you'll adapt to the surroundings. I hope you enjoyed this story. And did you tell yourself that you were the greatest today? Come on, Popcorn Kit Crew. Let me hear you say it. Say, I am the greatest. Yes, you are. You are the greatest. And I can't wait to see you soon. Hang in there, everybody. I'll see you soon. Sending you peace and love and lots of happiness. See you soon.